Good evening. <clears throat> okay, we have here this word that is riddles, riddles, riddles. What is this? Do you have any idea? Any idea about the meaning of this word? No? Okay, I'm going to relate this. Then you're going to get the meaning. This is the equation. What has to be broken before you can use it? What it is something that has to be broken before you can use it? Uh -huh. Are you here or am I alone? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, look, I have already read what you sent, Elsie. Don't worry. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to give you the answer. This is an egg. I'm tall when I am John, and I am sure when I am old, what am I? A candle. 
Okay. Oops. What happened? Okay, a candle. What month of the year has 28 days? February. Okay. All of them. <laughs> okay. I don't have an idea. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why the answer? Yeah, because all of them have 28 and some 29, 30, and 31st. But all of them, they have 28 days. <laughs> all of them. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And the last one. What is full of holes but still holds water? What is full of holes but still holds water? No idea? <laughs> A sponge. <laughs> it has a lot of holes and it gets water in it. Okay. So these were the four riddles that I have for you. Right? And now we are going to go to our class for today. Okay, so we have here, this is lesson 18. And uh, we have uh, one main objective to achieve. That objective is that you will be able to use the imperatives to give directions to other important sites in their city. So it means giving directions, but also uh, the imperatives. We need to understand what an imperative is, right? That is the first thing that we're going to define. Now I have this question. How good are you at reading maps? If I give you a map, a paper map. <laughs> if I give you a paper map. So bad. I'm do very think, bad. <laughs> do you think that you can get the places in the correct way? <laughs> Reading maps is kind of difficult, right? Reading map is kind of complicated because you need to know where the north is, where the south is, east and west. So you need to understand those aspects. Also, <coughs> excuse me. Also, uh, you need to know the name of the streets and the name of the avenues, right? Let us see, let us try. Let us see how good are we uh, for giving directions. Okay. Do you know uh, the University of El Salvador? Yes, I know. Okay. Where is it located? How can I get to the University of El Salvador? How can I get there? 
Can you give me some instructions for me to get there? Can you do it? <laughs> Let us try. Let us type there in the chat box your direction. Vamos a ver cómo me envían para la Universidad del de Salvador. I'm waiting. Ay, señor. <risa> Nunca voy a llegar. Como puedan, no se rebusquen con el vocabulario. ¿Ok? Ok, San Salvador is near the hospital bloom. Ok, thank you, Jennifer. Any other option? Any other option? Okay. Word root to C. Okay. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. That is what you have in your mind in this moment. Right? It is on San Antonio Abad Avenue. So, my dear Rose, tengo que buscar en toda la avenue San Antonio Abad. A ver, desde dónde comienza y hasta dónde termina, right? If you go in bus, board route 26, 1, 22, 30, board, and when am I going to get off? <laughs> Imagínense me subo a la 26, ¿a dónde la abordo? <laughs> ¿Y a dónde me bajo? O oh, 30, 44. ¿Para dónde va y de dónde viene? Ok. It depends. Okay. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if, you, if you go mexicanos or San Salvador Centro or San Camino. Yeah. yeah, it depends. But you just say, ok, if you go more routes uh, 26, one, <laughs> I'm going to miss Care. Igual que Rose, right? Me manda a ver toda la San Antonio Abad. Full of me. Okay. So this is what we are checking in this moment because this is what we are going to use in this class. Before, before knowing how to give directions because you want to get to a place or maybe another person wants to get to one place, we need to understand that we need to um, know certain vocabulary, 
related to prepositions. Here I have some of them and we are going to include some more, right? But let's see. I have the first one that is next to. Preposition next to, it is important, for example, when you have two different places, for example, these are the two different um, buildings or stores, and then you say that this is next to, right? Next to, that is what we have, right? And that is the preposition. For example, imagine that this is a bakery. This is a bakery. And this is, let me see, a shoe store. No me sale bien la letra aquí. The shoe, a shoe store. So I can say, solo por los lugares, I can say that the bakery is next to the shoe store. The bakery is next to the shoe store. Or the other way around. I can say that the shoe store is next to the bakery. Aquí no hay ningún problema. O es uno o es el otro. But both are next to each other. So I have next to. Then I have another one that is in front of. This in front of, what happened? Something happened here. I'm going to stop sharing because something happened and then that I don't know. The computer is getting crazy. I'm so sorry. Okay. So I was saying in front of, in front of, in front of, but when we join it, it sounds like in front of, in front of, right? What is in front of? This is you. De hecho, tendría que estar aquí. This is you and this is, let me see. This is the... Um, Ricaldone School. This is the Ricaldone School. And you are here. It means that you are in front of off in front of the Ricardone School. Pero si se fija, usted está aquí en la acera, ¿ve? Okay, and you are in front of. Then I have between. Between, between. When we say between, we need to have three different places. I have A, I have B, and I have C. Maybe this is La Nevería. Maybe this is, um, what, what other place? Saritas, 
And this is another that sells ice cream. Boston? Boston, okay. Neveria, Sarita, and Boston. If I want to use between, I have to have three different places. Entre dos, I can't. Entre dos, I have to say next to, only. And between, es justo el que va a aparecer aquí. So I can say that Saritas is between La Nevería and Boston. That is in the middle between between right and then i have another one that is across across the street and sometimes you can find this across from across the street or across from. They are different. It is different if we compare it with in front of. In front of, usted no cruza calle. You are in front of the school. But if you say across from Ricaldones, usted le está diciendo y, y, y van a ir a hacer la tarea de English, pero um, tiene que ser presencial. You are recording a, a video. Entonces, esta persona vive justo enfrente de el Ricaldone. Entonces, le va a decir, ok, my house is across from Ricaldone School. Why across from? Because there is a street and you need to cross it across the street or it is across from Ricaldones. It is not the same to say across and in front, right? Then we have around the corner. Around the corner. This is around the corner. Okay? Around the corner. So it means que aquí vamos a tomar en cuenta las cuadras, right? In the If we are going to talk about directions, you need to manage, you need to know avenues and streets. Let's see, and these are the avenues. So it means that this is the street. Y siempre hay un punto donde convergen y aquí está el punto cero. For example, when Rose, when Rose said, um, San Antonio Abad Avenue, pero a la altura de qué calle, Rose, para hacer esa intersección. I need to know that, right? I need to know that in that case, I can get a better idea about the place. Then we have on the right, this is easier. On the right, on the left, they go together. You are walking and then you need to turn here. And then I say, this is only the side. But 
we can also add the word turn. In the other slide, it is going to appear this. I can say on the right, on the left. On the right, on the left. Okay? On the right, on the left. On the right, on the left. So we are going to use them if you want to give uh, addresses. And then we say, down the street. Down the street. So it means that the place, it goes a little bit like uh, to one side and the other one. And then you say down the street. And some others you can say up the street. Up the street or down the street. Oops. These are prepositions. And I have some more. This is what I was telling you. That I say, on your right, on your left. But when you are walking or when you are driving, you need to turn, turn right or Turn left. This is the correct way to say it. Turn left or turn right. If you don't need to turn, so you are going to say, hey, go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Derecho, 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 derecho for two blocks, for five blocks, for 10 blocks, for one block only. Right? Then I have go past. Go past is, for example, imagine that this is the post office. Post office. Pero usted no va a ir al post office. Usted tiene que ir uh, to the library. Library. Pero está más adelantito del post office. Entonces usted le va a decir, OK, go and past the post office. And then there it is, the library. And if we're going to do it like a cross. Remember, you are going to cross the street. Whenever you have this cross, it is because you have to do it on the street. That is cross. This one. At the corner of at the corner of, quizás esta va a ser la main street. Y si esta es la main street, entonces esta va a ser Apple Avenue. Avenue. So, y esta es la drugstore. Entonces yo le voy a decir, the drugstore is at the corner of Apple Avenue in the Main Street. Puede ser este, puede ser este, puede ser este y puede ser esto. Pero ya lo ubiqué aquí. And later, I'm going to say, digamos que esta es <coughs> the police station. Entonces le voy a decir, Kitty Corner 
Kitty Corner, the police station, in diagonal. Kitty Corner, the police station. This is what I have here. Then I have A and B. Do you remember what is that? In the previous information, don't you remember that? Next to, right? Next to. <clears throat> and then we have opposite. That is the same to say cross, across from. In between, that it is this, between A and B, in the middle, in the middle. Why are we going to use this? Y para qué quiero saber yo cómo se dice, cruce a la derecha, cruce a la izquierda, vaya a ser recto, go past, <clears throat> cruce la calle, entre la zapatería y la nevería, why is that important? Because we need to give directions. We are going to give directions. This is exactly the same. Okay? Giving and asking for directions. Ya vimos cómo damos las direcciones. And that is okay. But now we are going to work with some structures for being a little bit more specific. For example, I have here different ways to ask for directions. I have here. Where is the bank? Imagine you are somewhere and then you're going to ask, where is the bank? Or you're going to say, excuse me, can you tell me where the bank is another one hi se apagó el micrófono teacher What happened? Sorry, 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 sorry. I am here again. Okay. There is a helicopter. Oh my goodness. Teacher, the attendance. The attendance. Yes, yes. I'm going to finish with this and then the attendance. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, I have the first question that it is, where is the bank? And then the second one, excuse me, can you tell me where the bank is? It's, then I have, hi, do you know where the bank is? Or, sorry to bother you, I'm looking for the bank. Or, where is the closest bank? Todas son preguntas. Todas necesitan one direction. Todas necesitan one place where to go. How are we going to help that person to get 
to the bank. ¿Cómo le vamos a ayudar para que llegue? Okay. We're going to stop just for a while. Thank you. And I'm going to look for the attendance. Okie dokie, preparen su cámara, please. Ok, Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. Oh my goodness. Algo está pasando aquí. I don't know. My computer is kind of crazy tonight. Okay. Eh, Alma, Brenda Lee. Okay, no. Uh, Elsa, Benedicta Magaña. Present teacher. Yeah. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernandez. Present teacher. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Ay, señor. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Hasta dudé que si no me escuchaban. <risa> Demasiados ausentes, ¿ok? Valery, Valeria Michelle Monque, Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Ok, guys. Hasta ahora que veo a Wilmer. Mucho gusto, Wilmer. Thank y ya you. no se va a ver. <laughs> ok, guys, the first time. Ok, now let's continue with equations. So, this is the first part. And this is the first part where we are looking for information because we want to get, uh, we want to go to the bank, right? And we are lost. We don't know how to get to the bank. Maybe you are looking for the Vivienda's Bank. Maybe you're looking for Cuscatlan's Bank, Agricola's Bank. Well, any of them. 
end, le urge ir a hacer una transacción, but you don't know where uh, the bank is in that moment. So the first thing that we think is that voy a preguntar, right? And then you start using any of these questions. You ask this, 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 or this. I have five different options for you to ask for the bank, right? Five different ways to ask for the bank, okay? Now, let us change. Y en lugar de buscar el banco, usted cámbiele un lugar que usted anda buscando, please, y escríbalo en el chat. Y utilice cualquiera de estas. Please, write it down. Look for a place. I don't know what place you're looking for. Okay, where is the closest pizza hut? <laughs> She's hungry. <laughs> Very yes, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I need to eat. Where is the closest pizza hut? Okay, another one. Okay, guys. I'm waiting for your questions. Okay, the second one. Excuse me, can you tell me where the restaurant Habibis is? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Habibis. Okay, we are going to say, excuse me, can you tell me where the Habibis restaurant is? Habibis is is that a real restaurant? Jennifer? Yes, it's um, Save uh, Arabic food, food. Oh, really? Yes. And where is it located? Um, It's near the Galerías. Ah. Uh, in the, mm -hmm, arriba. Okay. Del okay. Redondel Ferrer. Ah, okay. It is sobre el escalón, so. Yes. Okay, so thank you. Okay, another one. Only Rose and Jennifer. Y los demás, are you sleepy? Okay, where is the National Hospital? But which one? Which National Hospital? Porque tenemos varios, no? Okay, I think that you're not going to continue writing. Okay, let us move on. Excuse me, can you tell me where is Oscar Quiteño Stadium is? Um, what happened there, Remberto? You repeat it, is, is. Can you check it? Which is the correct one? The first or the second one? Let me see. And 
Solo un is tiene que quedar. Which is the oh, one? Yes, yes, yes. It's the, the second one. The first one is, is wrong. Okay. Okay. So, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Can you tell me where Oscar Quiteño's stadium is? Okay. Okay. In here, I'm going to start using imperatives. Imperatives for given directions. Which are the imperatives? Imperatives are the sentences in which you start like giving instructions immediately with the verb. For example, go straight ahead. Sobre tal calle. Go past algún lugar. Turn left en alguna calle. Turn right en alguna avenida. Go up or go down the street. If for being more specific, you are going to say, walk down the street. Because when you say go up or down, when you say go, maybe you are with your car and you're driving. But if you say walk down, it means that you are walking. Go on for two blocks. You can say two blocks, three blocks, one block, five blocks. Go on, right? You can also say go straight ahead for two blocks. And then take the first left or take the first right. Why do they say take the first? Take the first, ¿por qué? Porque pueden haber varias. But the first, that is the one that you are going to take. So, y puesto esto ya en contexto, well, we are going to use it like this. Pregunta y respuesta. Pregunta from the previous one y respuesta using imperatives. I'm going to say. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Another question. Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. But this direction, it is very general. Solo el que está ahí va a comprender porque le está diciendo walk down the street. ¿Cuál street? I don't know, pero están sobre una street ellos. Y después le dice turn left. But when we are in a place and we want to give directions, we need to use some references too, right? But this is just the beginning of the conversation. Yes, bien, 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 short. And then it says, okay, thank you, no problem. Another way to say no problem? Oh. Teacher. Yes. Uh, in the speaker one. Yes. Uh, when you use EST, so for example, near nearest. Uh -huh. Nearest uh, is um, when you talk about uh, some hotels. Cuando hay varios o los más grandes. No. In this case, 
la referencia es este, la referencia es yes. el adjetivo near. Yes. Ok. Pero solamente cuando utilizamos el EST uh -huh. es uno. Ok. El más cercano. Ok, perfecto. Ok, good. Thank you. Ok. Okay, we have the first one, but I was asking you another way to say no problem. ¿O qué decimos nosotros? ¿Qué contestamos después que agradecemos? Porque nos han ayudado en algo. And then you say, hey, thank you. How do you uh, answer? You're welcome. You're welcome. You say you're welcome. Another Okay. <laughs> okay. It's That's a okay. pleasure for me. It's a pleasure. Or also you can say anytime. Anytime. Right? Okay. So because we, we we need in this moment we need to gather vocabulary because you are going to work in your own conversation. But this is the first very basic conversation. Vayan guardando expresiones, because later we are going to use them. Here I have another short conversation. Aquí está la otra opción, the answer. Vean. Another question. Let's see. Excuse me, is there a gas station nearby? Yes, imperative. Aquí viene el imperative again. Go straight for one block and turn right. Then go straight for one more block. It is on your left. It is across from the hotel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Another different way. So we have two options for asking for directions and giving directions. Asking and giving directions, right? Remember that the imperative comienza cuando usted empieza a dar esa dirección y usted le dice walk down y comienza con el verbo así en su forma base y usted le dice walk, go, turn, take. These are the imperatives. Okay, if you're not looking for a specific bank, a specific place, you just need a bank. Maybe, well, the, there is a transaction that you want to make and it has, uh, it has to be done at any bank. And then you say, the question, is there a bank around here? Vean, otra manera de preguntarlo. Pero dice, is there a bank? It doesn't say, is there uh, the vivienda bank around here? Oh, bank, agricola bank around here? Or any other bank? No, it says, is there a bank around here? Because it, there is something not specific, a place, not specific place.
And here we have more, the question that I was asking you at the very beginning. When you are looking for specific place, el anterior era no specific, a bank, a park, a store, a museum, a movie theater, whatever, any, a. Uh. But now I'm asking, I'm asking for a specific place. The question that I did at the very beginning, and then I say, hey, can you tell me where the University of El Salvador is? Or where is the University of El Salvador? Or how can I get to the University of El Salvador? Jennifer dijo, okay, está cerca del Hospital Bloom. Y si no conozco el Hospital Bloom. <laughs> No, I mean, les estoy poniendo todos los, los, los troubles possible porque eso es lo que sucede, right? Uh, muchas veces um, las personas que andan buscando o andamos buscando places es porque ahí no conocemos ni tenemos referencias, right? Y a veces damos las referencias que están cerquita pero desde mi punto de vista, pero si la otra persona no conoce ni eso, so that is kind of complicated, right? Ahora bien, it is more complicated cuando la otra persona no conoce y a la que le está preguntando, tampoco. <laughs> uh, so that person is going to be lost. <laughs> okay, so I have here, Two different equations for a specific equation and for not specific equation, place, right? La diferencia cuando decimos, hey, where is the University of El Salvador? That is a very straight question. Usted quiere saber el lugar and that's why you say, Hey, where, where, where is the University of El Salvador? But if you compare this with this equation, they are different. And this equation has something similar to this one. We use polite expressions. Can you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the University of El Salvador is? Very polite. Right? And that, that is what we, uh, this is the vocabulary that we should use. Because if I say, where is the University of El Salvador? It sounds very demanding, a menos que sea your friend. Hey, where is the University of El Salvador? It sounds like informal, but the other ones are very polite and they are very formal. Aquí hay respuestas about different equations. And in here, estamos utilizando las prepositions that we were studying. Maybe they are here or maybe there are some others. Let's see. Están preguntando por el parque and the answer is, ah, okay, the park is across from the school. The coffee shop is kitty corner to the bank. Kitty corner 
es una manera no formal de decir en diagonal. Kitty corner to the bank. Okay? That is kitty corner in an informal way. The convenience the convenience store is around the corner from my house, around the corner from my house, or my office is on Main Street. My office is on Main Street. Esta preposition no estaba en todas las que vimos anteriormente. But whenever we are going to mention the street or the avenues, we are going to say on. It is on Apple Avenue. It is on Main Street. It is on, on. Whenever we are going to name street or avenues, it is on. Right? Ya voy a dejar de hablar yo too much and then you are going to practice. Yo sé que están desesperados, ¿ok? ¿Y cuándo vamos a practicar, pues? That is what you say in this moment. Another example how to give walk two blocks two blocks it is at at porque ya está en el lugar right very specific digo on cuando solo menciono la calle o la avenida y digo sobre tal calle, sobre la uh, décima calle, sobre la séptima avenida. Ahí uso on. But if I am going to include the specific number where the place is located, for example, in this case, it is At 4.05, that is a specific place. In that case, I'm going to say at. At. Go on one block down on Main Street, down Main Street. It is next to the Starbucks. Walk down Main Street to the spotlight. It is on your right. Just go down Main Street, you can miss it. Esta, esta, you can miss it. Tiene un propósito, okay? You can miss it. What do you think it is the meaning of you can miss it? When you're given directions and then you say, okay, just go down Main Street. You can't miss it. Decir, no se pierde. Okay, it is easy. Just go down. Okie dokie. Ya recolectaron todo el vocabulario, right? Because this is the last one. Welcome, Elsie. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you. Walk along Main Street. It is five minutes from here. Or go along Main Street until the mall. Hasta aquí están todas las opciones de cómo uh, dar direcciones y cómo preguntar direcciones. Now we are going to practice a little bit about this. Y después de practicar, vamos a hacer 
una conversation. In this moment, vamos a hacer solo una parte de una conversación. For example, hacen la pregunta. Do you know where the bank is? Y le van a contestar. For example, walk along on Main Street. It is five minutes from the shoe store. Punto. Esa no es una conversación. Es una champ de conversación. Right? Solo pregunta y respuesta. In this moment. Later, you're going to have the conversation. Vamos a ver. ¿Y cómo van a preguntar eso? Let me see. ¿Cómo vamos a practicar? Vamos a ver. Here it is. I have already uploaded, I have already shared a file that is a map. That is a map, a, a, a colorful map in which you can see the main street, you can say the Maple Street, you can say the David Street. You have different places such as Chinese restaurant, bookstore, drugstore, swimming pool, public restroom, music store, pay phone, post office, bank, etc., etc., etc. Different places. Entonces, lo que van a hacer es, pregunte por cualquier lugar. For example, hey, can you tell me where the needers Park is, y ustedes me van a decir que queda entre la Maple Street y la Main Street. Ah, y me van a decir que queda, um, let me see, across from the Brook Store. That is the, the first example. Do you understand? Yes. ¿Ya vieron todos el mapa? Yes, teacher. Okay, now it is time for you to practice. Let's see. Okay, we are going to work. You, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Let me see. Un oyente, uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos. No, voy a, voy a recreate. Only two. Siempre se me olvida que solo son dos. Ok. Two different, two different teams van a ir a practicar asking for different places and answers. Ok. Y entre todos se van apoyando. Ya voy a llegar a escucharlos. Ok, ok. Let us go and work.
Okay, continue. Okay. How can I get to um swimming pool? Swimming pool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go straight. Go straight for the main street, and when you stay in a drugstore. Mm -hmm. You turn, you turn right, and that's it. Okay, thank you for information. It's very important for me. Okay. es la que está está como que enfrente digamos vaya ah sí sí ajá pero it's on Maple Street ajá eh, in front of bank ajá Bien. ahora yo voy yo where is the post office Permítame que no, no he notado aún la mía.
Okay, we're coming back, guys. Okay, I think everyone is here, right? Okay, guys, so I would like to listen to you. Let me see. Now you're coming back in this moment. Okay, volunteers for reading, questions and answers. Questions and answers? Okay, let us listen to Kenya. Me, teacher? Yes, Kenya. Okay. Kenya and? Elsa. Okay. Hola. <risa> ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Es que me, no podía entrar, entonces me salí y volví a entrar. Yo le voy a preguntar a usted acerca de las oraciones que hicimos y usted me va a responder. Ah, vaya. Where is the grocery store? The grocery store is on Maple Street in front of Bank. En the avenue, en the avenue, acuérdense que si mencionan la calle, tienen que mencionar la avenida. No hay. ¿No hay avenida? No, la, eh, la otra también decía que era calle. No, no pueden haber, tiene que haber calle y avenida. Pero es que estaba la Maple Street. Y la, la Main Street. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ay, oh, yes. Ok, ese mapa está malo. <laughs> if I don't, if I don't see it, yes, because we cannot have streets and streets. We can have streets and avenues. Oh, okay, okay. avenue? Le vamos a poner a la maple. Le vamos a poner avenue, mm -hmm. right? Bye. La maple será y la Davis será también avenues. Okay. Y solo vamos a dejar la Main Street. Ok. Entonces sería... Ok, eh, I, did, I didn't grocery. check that. Ok. <laughs> the grocery store is between... Uh, Maple... Avenue. Avenue. Uh -huh. In front. Pero es que me falta para unir la otra. Ajá, ajá. Porque dijo between. Ajá. Pero así de una vez. Between. Between, between es entre, ¿verdad? Between Maple and Davis Avenue. Ah. Mi... <risa> between Maple and Davis Avenue in front of bank. In front of the bank. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Um now let's see. Let us listen to Remberto. Yes. Usted dijo que quería ser voluntario, right? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién practico? 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 ¿Con No, ¿cómo no? ¿Qué ha pasado, Roberto? Claro que sí, si sí, se los digo. Your practice with buscando? me. Anda buscando los nombres. Yes, yes. Sorry, pana. Sorry, girl. Yes. Sorry. It's okay. Friday. It's Friday. Remember, it's Friday. Yeah, it is Everybody Friday. Knows. Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I, Okay, um, excuse me. Is there a grocery store nearby? Oh, nearby, yeah. nearby, nearby, nearby. Oh, it is, it depends. If you uh, stay in Italian res restaurant, um, yes, in front of this place. Uh, if you, the other place, um, on parking lot, and maybe you walk um, all right, and the one quadra, a corner, one corner, and you across block. one uh -huh. block, a one, one block. block, a one block, and when you when you get on the esquina corner, a corner, you cross the corner. street, uh, uh -huh, corner of the street, and you walk. Um, David Avenue, Avenue Davis, and you turn um left, no, <laughs> <Yes>. right, and <laughs> you <laughs> you arrive the place, the grocery store. <laughs> okay. Thank. Más perdido lo dejé. Nice. Okay. Thank you. 
Now sí, let se, entendió, se entendió, se entendió. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, later, yes. la, later les yes. voy a dar unos tips que es lo de los imperatives. Ya vamos a ir a ver eso para enfatizarlo un poquitico. Ok, let's see. Um, Rose estuvo con ustedes, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. No. Ok. No, ah, no, no, con Elsa, con Elsa, con Elsa, con Elsa. Ah, yes, yes. ¿Y quiénes más estuvieron, pues? ¿Ya todos están desconectados? Es, con nosotros estaba Kenia. Ah, ok, Kenia, Kenia uh -huh. y Kenia. Kenia estaba con nosotros. Kenia Lisette o Kenia Kenia Stephanie. Kenia Lisette. Kenia Lisette. Hi. ¿Y Kenia Barrera? ¿Onta? Okay. ok, Kenia le pregunta a Kenia, vaya. Ok. <risa> Ay. Le pregunto yo a usted, Kenia Lisa. O usted a mí, no sé. <risa> eh, no le escuché, ¿qué dijo? Hello. Hola, no sé. Pero... Bueno, la pregunta yo tal vez me, me logro responder o no sé si la señal de ella está fallando. Sí, creo Where que is... sí. Ok. Where is the post office? Repeat, please. Kenya. Where is the post office? Where is the post post mail office? Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Post office. This office is this office Sorry, no lo encontraba. This is but office is is home. Eh, es, is home street in front in front the restaurant Italian. Is it in front? No, sorry. It's detrás. It is behind or is it next to? Next to uh, the Italian restaurant. Okay. Uh -huh. Um in front uh, in front in the bank mm -hmm. it's, uh, on a street Malibu okay yeah. That's all? Pues creo que sí, solo eso. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
we are going to emphasize a little bit in some aspects. I'm going to let you know what. When the topic at the beginning said that we were going to practice the imperatives, it is because of this. Let me see. This is the imperative. And it is because when I uh, when I was there in the different rooms, you were saying, okay, you walk down, you turn left, you we don't we don't need to say you you you. When you're going to give directions, you need to use imperative. Imperatives. ¿Y qué dijimos que eran los imperatives? Es comenzar con el verbo directamente. No utilizamos el sujeto. No hay sujeto de you, he, she, it. They, no. We go straight y empezamos con el verbo. Y lo que implica, por ejemplo, walk down, turn left. Lo único que puede agregar sería, ok, first, walk two blocks, turn right, inmediatamente, turn right, walk two blocks. Todas las indicaciones tienen que ir with imperatives, one after another one. In here, in these exercises, no vamos a ir incluyendo You walk, you turn, and later, no. You, 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 we are going to drop it. We just omit it. Go directly using the imperatives, right? Do you understand that, Remberto and Jennifer? Yes. Okay. I um, understand. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, because here I have the second example. Okay, you see here, it says, excuse me, that, uh, y eso es lo que no escuchó Remberto, right? We say this, nearby, nearby. Y después que preguntó, dice, okay, yes. Y va directamente con the imperatives. Go straight ahead for one block, and turn right. Then go straight for one more block. It is on your left. It is across from the hotel. Thank you very much. So imperatives, right? Imperatives. I have here. More examples. But, but. The, yes, remember. In the original form. Yes. But the verb in our original form, yes? Base okay. form. In the base form. Based form. Es decir, sin conjugar. Okay? Okay. That is, imperativo se llama porque no lleva sujeto. Entonces decimos, camine, vaya, cruce, haga esto. That is imperative. Okay? Ahora okay. bien. Thank you. Ahora bien. But that is when you are in the place. When you are in the place and then you want to have the person and then you say it, okay? Um, de aquí camine dos cuadras, luego cruce a la derecha, a la izquierda. Um, todo eso es porque you are in the place, right? But <clears throat> imagine that you are looking just for the direction, pero todavía no está ahí. And then you ask another person, hey, How can I get to the Cuscatlan Park, Cuscatlan Stadium? 
no estoy ahí, but I want to get there. Entonces ustedes me van a dar some references, right? For example, I'm going to include the one that is not here. You can say, okay, take bus 44. Okay, get off. Well, uh, what is the name of the street? On the, on the, the corner of um, Los Proceres. Los Proceres Boulevard, right? Okay. Here, now you are saying even the route, the bus that that person needs to take. But if you don't want to be very specific, solamente le dice, ah, the Cuscatlan Stadium es el que queda sobre el Boulevard de los Próceres, cerca de la Universidad José Simeón Cañas. How do I say that? How do I say that? Solo estoy dando referencias y no estoy diciendo se va a ir en el bus, cruza a la derecha, cruza a la izquierda. No, solo estoy dando la referencia in a general way. ¿Cómo le digo? That the Cuscatlan Stadium queda sobre el boulevard de los próceres cerca de la Universidad José Simeón Cañas. How do I say that? Me lo escriben por favor in the chat box. No hay nada en el chat. Que no entendí, chicha. <risa> ¿Cómo me dicen eso en inglés? Yo les digo que a dónde queda el estadio Cucatlán. Y me están diciendo oh. que queda. Sobre el Boulevard de los Próceres, cerca de la Universidad José Simeón Cañas. How do I say that in English? Es, es que yo no conozco San Salvador, entonces dijo que está por la Simeón Cañas. Ah. Está cerca de la Universidad José Simeón Cañas, sobre el Boulevard de los Próceres. It's near of University Simeón Cañas. Ok, when you use near, si vamos a utilizar near, solo utilizamos near y luego viene el lugar inmediatamente. Is near University José Simón Cañas? Cañas. Next to ¿Qué? No. no. On. On. Ajá. On. Boulevard Los Próceres, tío. Ya. Yeah. On Boulevard Los Próceres. So you can say on Los Próceres Boulevard. Okay. 
De esa manera, I am telling you general information. Solo estoy mencionando calle y referencias. It is different cuando le estoy diciendo cruce dos cuadras como utilizamos en el map, right? That go straight ahead, two blocks, turn left, turn right. But when we are uh, giving in a general way, this is the way that we are going to do it. For example, I have here the bookstore. Alguien me preguntó por el bookstore, algún bookstore en específico. And then I'm going to say, okay, the bookstore is beside the coffee shop. Only. Right? The movie theater is next to the library. Porque esa persona ya sabe a dónde estamos y solo le estoy dando la referencia. Ok, next to. The bus stop is near the school. The bakery is to the left of the supermarket. Or the pharmacy is to the right of the laundromat. The parking lot is behind the mall. The newsstand is in front of the subway. Estoy dando referencias. Que este queda a la par del otro. Que este también. Este queda cerca. Este queda a la izquierda. This at the right. This is atrás. And this is in front. The references without mentioning the streets nor avenues. Right? So, two different ways. If you are there, you see walk straight ahead, turn left, turn right. But if you are not there, you just can do it in this way. Vamos a ver, alguien escribió. The Cuscatlan Stadium is in front of the Jose Simeon Cañas University. Um, no, it is not in front. It is not in front, my dear Kenya. It is near. It is near, okay? Sobre, sobre ese boulevard, yes, but they are near. But it is not in front. Okay? Okay, I have here. I have here a manchazón. Okay, here are more examples about ways that we use for given directions, right? And I just want to emphasize this. I told you that we were going to use the uh, preposition on when we mention the street, right? And uh, we are going to mention on also when we are going to be very specific with the floor of a building, right? For example, you say the doctor's office is on the eighth floor. So the levels, the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, the eighth floor. But the preposition that I'm going to use, it is on. Another one in which one I am going to use, it is on the corner of. On, on, on. On Main Street, on the eighth, fifth or first floor. It is on the corner. And in difference with this that I am, I am mentioning the street, I'm going to say at because I am very specific even with the number of the house or the number of the building, right? Okay. And finally, we are going to have...
the conversation that we are going to recreate. But now I want you to to be Okay, I want you to use what happened. I want you to use because I lost the book again. This is a conversation. Now it is a conversation because in which you are going to introduce yourself and then you're going to say, hey, good morning, right? It is not only the question and the answer, question and answer. Now we are going to, um, we're gonna try to be polite. Polite with the person that is going to help me with this. But, ahora van a buscar um, lugares con referencias que ustedes, que los dos o que los tres puedan identificar, ¿ok? Lugares de referencias, así como I said about the Cuscatlan Stadium. Now I want you to include some other places that are, how can I say, that everyone knows. Que de repente no todos conocen los lugares que se han mencionado as um, Kenya said, right? Yo no conozco. Elsie, she said also that she doesn't know the, the Cuscatlan Stadium. But, but if uh, we give the references, we are going to get it, right? Okay? Conversations. Y todavía le van a dar cierre. Es decir, conversation, hay una introduction y hay un cierre. It is not only the first question and the answer, okay? Walk two blocks and then you're there. Not only like that. But I'm going to, you are going to practice with another co-workers, not with the same ones. ¿Cómo ya manejan el vocabulario? Let's see. Recreate. Recreate. Let's see. Let's see. Humberto. Jessica está por aquí. Araceli. Jessica Araceli. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Um, you three, y creo que va a salir el otro equipo con Rose. Jennifer. Kenya, Lisette, y Kenya, Stephanie, están aquí. Yes, teacher. Kenya... Estefan. Okay. Yes, um, teacher. Okay, también está aquí. José Roberto está por acá. No. No, okay. So you're going to work three and four. Just like short conversations, but now complete conversation, right? Let us do it.
y las so, sería good, good afternoon, ¿no? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Can you help me, please? Okay. Can uh, you help me, sure. please? Y le vamos sure. a poner sure y de ahí le podemos poner um, how can I get to ¿Qué buscamos? Veamos el mapa. Uh, <ríe> o uh, sure, o alguien más quiere poner me. otra. Quiere poner otra. No, solo, sure, tell me. Vaya, ahora sí, la pregunta. Ahí les puse las otras maneras, ¿ok? Ahí ah, en el chat okay. box. En el chat box. Ok, teacher. Ok. Vamos, oh. Ok. ¿Dónde está yes. la necesidad tecnológica? Tell me. <ríe> Bye. Ah. Ladies, ahí les coloqué en el chat box la, la, la screenshot de las otras maneras de cómo preguntar, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Tell me.
work. Um, vale, traíamos go straight for the main street and walk one block and two right of the corner. Y sobre la Davis. Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? On the corner estamos. Ajá, estamos sí. en la esquina. Uh -huh. Ahí le podríamos. Um, Y sobre la David. Y si le decimos, va, como ya le dijimos que doble a la derecha en la esquina. Ok, y... pero no es en base al mapa, ahora es en base oh. a la realidad. Ok, oh. direcciones teacher, reales. Teacher, nos mató la lucín. <risa> Sí, es que tuve que interrumpirlo porque los vi demasiado inspirados para este <risa> app. <risa> Uy, entonces cambiémoslo, cambiémoslo. Okay. Por eso les dije okay. que tenía que ser un lugar que todos conocieran para que pudieran dar mm. mayores referencias. Ok, vaya. Ok, okay teacher. Eso es un poco más difícil, teacher. Sí, pues, <risa> ok, ok. Bueno. Vale, pero pero el, yo creo que el saludo estamos bien, ¿no? Hi, good sí. afternoon. Eso. 17 avenida entonces right. sería it's between on si va a decir between lo vamos a decir on porque solo vamos a mencionar las calles o las avenidas ok o between. mencionamos o mencionamos dos lugares entre between the library and the school algo así o las okay. calles Right. Ok, ok. Thank you. ¿Cuál dijo usted que era la calle? 17 Avenida Norte. Es que la Universidad Tecnológica está entre dos calles. La Poniente, la primera calle Poniente y la calle Arte, pero está entre la avenida 17. A mí me sale 19 Avenida Norte. Es que también está sobre esa, porque esa universidad es grande. Está, está entre, entre la, la 17 y la 19. Ajá. Pero también está entre la primera calle poniente y la calle. Ok. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, Tomemos el cuenta el Simón Bolívar, vaya, para no, para no perdernos tanto. ¿Dónde? El Simón Bolívar, o sea, el edificio. Ah, ok. Visitar. Vamos a poner que está ideal. también in front of Dollar City, porque aquí veo un Dollar City. Pero lo primero, otro lado. lo primero que hay que hacer okay. es dar la intersección, dar la calle y dar la avenida. Ok, entonces dejámoslos así. Eso between? es lo ideal. Uh -huh. No, si va, a, si va a mencionar calle y avenida, no vamos a decir between. Ah, ok. Ahí vamos a decir it is on. Decimos between cuando mencionamos dos calles o dos avenidas. Pero okay. si menciono la avenida y menciono la calle, estoy generando el punto a donde se va a conectar tanto la calle como la avenida. Entonces voy a decir, it is on, menciono la calle okay. y después menciono la avenida. Okay. Y después dan las referencias. Ok, ya el sueño te <risa> I know, I know. Solo dos minutitos más y ya terminamos, ¿ok? <risa> ok. Ok, one minute and we come back, ¿ok?
Okay. So we have only two conversations. Veamos cómo nos quedó. Mm. Okay, Remberto? Yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Comenzamos. Okay. Um, you first one and me. Okay. I, I'm. Good afternoon. Can you help me, please? Sure, of course. Did you know where the Inajamin restaurant is? Yes, sure. Go straight on the 44 Boulevard and to right of the Santa Maria. Oh no, and to right and the first exit. And in front of the Santa Maria College is there. Great. Thank you. Okay, nice. chicos. Pero no me mencionaron avenida. Entonces, y si solo me lo mandan a la calle, ¿de dónde comienza la calle y a dónde termina? Me lo mandó a recorrer toda la calle. No, teacher. ¿Cómo no? ¿Y a dónde quedó no. la avenida? Que en la primera no. salida, dijimos. ¿Y cuál salida si solo me mencionó la calle? Es que así es realmente la dirección. No. Es, es que está la... sobre. Sí, está sobre. Ajá. Usted entra a Santa Ana y agarra el, for, el 44 Boulevard y en la primera salida está ahí. No hay más. Por eso okay. decimos, agarramos el camino fácil. Easy way, easy way. Oh. <risa> Entonces, ustedes salieron de la ciudad, ¿ok? Ustedes se fueron a... No. A la sí. carrera. No, okay. que, si Así nosotros no muy... te vale. <risa> ok. Interna <risa> internacionales. <risa> ok. <risa> Ahí no tiene que poner intersecciones. Dice. Ok, ladies, your turn. How the next. Yes, ah. you are the next. <risa> Okay. Bueno, <laughs> classmates. Intentemos. Ay, <laughs> <laughs> estoy durmiendo. Yes, let us do it. <laughs> Hi, excuse me, I have a question for you. Yes, tell me. Are you know the Universidad Tecnológica? Yes, I know. Is between no. 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 <laughs> How can can I get this place? It's on 17 North. Uh, Avenue and Third Street. Okay, thank you. It's a uh, little information for me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is all. <laughs> behind the city okay, oh, okay. <laughs> no me yeah. que se está durmiendo, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Easy way too, easy way too. Yeah, easy way. No, pero ahí sí mencionaron, mencionaron street and avenue, okay? Y ya con eso se salvan. Okay, guys, yes, I know, I know that we are falling asleep now. Just be ready because of the attendance, okay? Let's say. Vamos. Comienza de abajo. Tico, Ahorita de, de ahí voy. Wilmer <risa> Alexander Mendoza. Present teacher. Ay, Dios mío. <risa> Wilfredo Renderos León. Ya se durmió Wilfredo. Ok, Valeria Michel. Rosa S. Rivera. I am here. Ahí está. Ok, René Alexi Caballero. <risa> Osvaldo Vladimir Garay. 
Moisés Elías Torres Bernal, Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar, Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero, todos están dormidos ya, María René Jovel Álvarez, <ríe> Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez, It is true, Karen Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Ah, salió uno. Ok, Kenny Estefany Fuentes. Present. <laughs> Kenny Elizabeth Barrera Hernández. Carlina Loreni Navarro. Present. Ok, José Remberto Revelo. Jos no, José Roberto era, y ahora sí es José mm. Remberto Ca Calderón. Yes, teacher, here. A me estoy durmiendo también. <laughs> José Adilson Vázquez. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Teacher. Yes. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present, teacher. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Teacher, present. Okay, Disculpe que, que me saque cada rato de la plataforma por la inestabilidad del internet. Ok, Kenia. Ok. Elsa Benedicta Magaña. Present. Alma Brenda Lineto. Y Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Ok, guys. So, thank you very much for being here. Solo porque era viernes. Vamos. Para Piche, para no me okay. mencionó. You, no la mencioné. No. Me no. Hey, Jennifer Elizabeth, shit, después shit. de Jessica, Jennifer Elizabeth Évora. Ya estamos I'm dormidos. Ya estamos dormidos. Sí. Ya estoy dormida también. <risa> sí. Este, a mí se me fue el internet, no sé si ya me había hablado. Sí, 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 ya, la, ya está anotada. <risa> ah, ok. Oh, ok, nice. guys. Solo por, eso, nice. solo por eso le voy a dar libre mañana y pasado, ¿ok? Ay, <risa> thank you. Tan, tan no. linda. <risa> Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.